yes guys welcome back to the channel another one with BBA and um, here we are at Brinsford HMP youth offender uh, jail I do believe uh, in Brinsford so this is for uh, young offenders I do believe here we have the uh, GB flag we also have the, what I think, keep asking this, is the uh, LGBT flag. But that one doesn't have the triangle, like near the pole. So I don't know, that's a different type of flag. But HMP Brinsford. Um, got a big gate there, huge gate. Huge gate. Um, so let's have a little look around. Oh, got some nice flowers here. Some nice flowers that have been put in. Quite nice, isn't it? Uh, we've got some guy up there. Uh, HMP Brinsford Youth Offenders. They have got all the reflective glass in here. We've got a bus there as well. A bus that comes through. It's kind of interesting. We've got um, some benches here. A few benches. See what bus that is that's coming out of there. It's a number 67. So if anyone ever needs to get a bus to any of these prisons, you want the number 67 that's leaving. Uh, we've got a few people up at the windows as well. But I don't think they're going to come out. They'd have all radio through to each other to, um, to probably just ignore us on this one. So... This one all the same. There he is on the phone, hiding. Hey, we've got a curtain switcher. We've got a curtain switcher. He's trying to film me. In 2003. Okay, so let's read this, guys. In 2003, four prisoners escaped from Brinsford after assaulting a pre uh, prison officer and stealing his keys to an administration block. The four inmates then smashed the window and escaped over the prison's perimeter wall. In 2008, an additional resident unit actively sent her. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. In 2001, Brinsford was branded a disgrace after an inspection found the prison's regime to be uh, negligent and lacking in understanding towards prisoners. With large indicators of self-harm, fear of safety and bullying at the prison. A year later, two additional education blocks were built at Brinsford, with the regime promising a renewed focus on education and training at this site. Brinsford was opened in 1991 and it is a youth offenders uh, and a remand centre. The site had been previously acquired from the Ministry of Defence and already housed the Featherstone Prison. In 2016, it was in process of changing to a Category C male prison. Since the beginning of 2019, it became a Category B and C male prison, mainly due to the rise in violence, self-harm and drug abuse. It has been named as one of the worst prisons in the United Kingdom. Did you know that, DJ? Wow, so this is actually branded one of the worst prisons in the United Kingdom, and that was in 2019. So... So yeah, guys, this is actually branded one of the worst prisons in the UK. Have you noticed Crinkle at the top there, in his nest? Oh look, we've got Crinkle! Oh, we've got some snow on this one guys. This is the first audit I've done where a bit of snow's been falling. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a pigeon up in its nest there. 
See that? Yeah, you can see the bird crap for sure. <laughs> you can definitely see that. Um, I don't really know what else to bring you here. Apart from that little bit of information about this one. I'm surprised it's been branded one of the worst uh, prisons in the UK. But, yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to take a little walk round now. Round the side. We've got him there that keeps hiding. As soon as he sees me, uh, you can't really see that, guys, can you? Um, but so can you see him up at the window there? The little curtains, which are. Apparently, this prison is a disgrace, sir! Best be treating these prisoners, the young prisoners as well. Self harming going on in here. We've got bullying going on in here. This pr prison is actually a disgrace. And I didn't know that when I first landed here, but I do know. Disgrace! Makes you wonder, doesn't it, when these uh, reports get done on prisons? <laughs> Run up that and look through these windows, couldn't we? Look, because they're not they're not blurred out. No, these you could. And also, if you were trying to escape out of a window, you've got a little bit more of a relaxed fall, haven't you? Yeah, you know. True. true. Especially yeah, after they've not long had an escape here. I suppose it stops ladders being put up, don't it? I guess. Well, not on an angle. I'm not sure why they're doing that. I don't know. We've got um, just here to the right hand side, we've got the Brinsford, HMP Brinsford Visitor Centre. Um, I'm only going to go, I'm not going to walk all the way around the side of this prison, but I'm just going to walk to the end, the boundary, and I'm just going to have a quick look, see how far it looks like it goes down, and that will be it. I won't go no further down. Um, it's said it's private land, but look, we have got double yellows here and stuff. That sky looks full of uh, rain or snow, one of the two. But yeah, so I'm not going to jump over there, even though I probably could. Uh, no drone. No drone zone. It's a no drone zone. And then here, if I bring you over here, this is like almost one of the ways in. I think there's a few place, ways into this, uh, this site, but you've got HMP Brinsford, HMP Featherston, HMP Oakwood. So any auditors that come here, you've got three prisons here side by side pretty much. Um, definitely worth coming and doing. This is the visitor's centre. So this is where I visit. They're the list of prohibited items, right? Would be a mobile phone, SIM cards, hands-free kit, phone battery, a memory card, Bluetooth head or phones, electronic charger, including an e-cigarette charger, paper, charger, DVD or DVD-R, uh, CD player basically, uh, video, camera, audio tape, recordable device, mini disc, USB and memory stick and floppy disk iPod, MP3 player, laptop, PDA. Handheld gaming devices, excess medication, drugs, drugs paraphernalia, alcohol, access money of a hundred pound limit, weapons, explosives, firearms or ammunition, magnets, pen knife tools, scissors, tweezers, perfume, aftershave in a glass bottle uh, or glass bottles and jars. That is 
this is the list of items that is exhaustive can't even see that if you have in doubt about any item then contact the security department hmm. okay okay here COVID-19 infection controls regarding temperature checks but yeah that's your uh, that's your visitors center anyway Oh, we've got a big window here, DJ says. We'll have a look at this. Oh, there we are. And there's, there's the visitors. So this is where you come. This is where the young offenders will come. When the parents or any family or friends come and visit, it will be done over these tables. Um, again, there's no visiting today on a Friday. Uh, I do believe the visiting is on a Tuesday and Thursday and a Saturday and Sunday. But that was for Featherstone. I don't know if it will be the same for this prison. It might be slightly different. But yeah, you can see that, guys. There's your, your waiting room. And then there's brochures and anything else that uh, families question uh, question and answers, a QA. and a Got a, uh, a little, like, smoking shelter here. take a walk back over see if we get anything right so got some bus times and that here as well look from Cannock Featherston to Wolverhampton Mondays to Fridays and I'm gonna do a turbinator now and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, manufacture a uh, interaction so we'll go around and have a look what we can see and what we can't see. What's going on, gents? Do you know this has been voted one of the uh, worst run prisons in the UK? Say that again. Did you know that this prison has been voted as one of the worst uh, prisons in the UK? No, no, seriously, it's already there. It's on record, mate. You are full of rubbish? Why do you work here? Oh, you're a bit on the defensive. No chance. Well, are you are you telling me, sir, that you're you're going to argue with the information that I found on Google about this prison? I don't I don't suppose any of you lot are guilty of um, neglect towards the prisoners, are you? Funny how as soon as I question you, you all go quite quiet. Do you not think? Pardon? Come to a good pro. I don't think so, mate. No prison's good, is it? Don't I think the fact that you're turning around and saying I've come to a good prison's quite kind of worrying myself. Um, what about you, sir? Did you just call me a knob jockey? just because he just made a real offensive term. This guy here, this guy here, decides to call people, don't make me chase your car. Everyone knows I've got a habit for doing that. Can't believe he just called me that. So, yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know what was going on there. That he had to call me that. That was a bit of an offensive thing to say. He's hiding. So, hang on, I'm just gonna put you down while I take a shot. While I take a shot with my steel camera, I'm just gonna put you down a second. So what else to find really concerning, yeah? Is that prison officer that just come out, tries telling me that this is a good prison. There's surely no such thing as a good prison. It's prison, right? That's a bad attitude to have straight away. Oh, this is a good prison. There, uh, he's pointing. He looks like Mr. Tumble's brother on steroids. So, you know what, guys? I don't actually think we're going to get an interaction here. They're, they're very shy at this one. Um, I think maybe it's time to call it a day. Um, but yeah, guys. Thanks for joining again.
This was the third prison of the um, audits at Featherstone, Oakwood and Brinsford. And uh, yeah, it's been an interesting visit. But if you enjoyed the video, please smash the uh, thumbs up button. Do leave a comment, tell us what you thought, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining, guys. God bless and peace out.